Hello, everyone. I will be discussing uh, a linear research methodology. Now, this is the um, overview that I typically provide for my students who are high school and college students. The first step um, that I explain is uh, for them to decide and discuss their research approach. Uh, so this includes whether it's qualitative, um, quantitative or mixed methods. Um, since uh, many of my students are conducting their studies uh, in a short period of time, I typically encourage them to select between qualitative or quantitative and not to do mixed methods just because of the um, that requires more rigor in terms of data collection and data analysis. Of course, your research approach will dictate your research design. So if you're doing, for example, a qualitative study, you might want to do a case studies or a narrative design. Uh, and if you're doing a quantitative study, you might do a survey design. Um, connected to that, um, your research approach and research uh, design typically dictates your data collection tool. So you might use in a qualitative study, um, using narrative design, you might use a interview protocol. Whereas in a quantitative study, uh, you may select a survey design and then, of course, use survey or questionnaires um, as a way of collecting your data. Uh, you also describe your recruitment strategy. So how are you going to collect your data? This includes describing your sampling method. So are you doing probability uh, sampling or non-probability um, sampling? And under that, there are different types of recruitment strategies, uh, typically with a qualitative approach, you might use convenient sampling, which is of course easier because the participants are easily accessible to you, or you might do purposeful sampling. Um, however, in a quantitative approach, typically a random sampling is used. Uh, and then you describe your participants. So who are you going to collect your data from? Uh, typic uh, typically would state the age, the experience, ethnicity, and other sociodemographic uh, socio aspects of your participants. Now, these five components um, are needed for your proposal. However, uh, once you've uh, collected your data, you will also discuss your uh, data analysis as a part of your methodology, and this will come in your report. Uh, because you have not collected the uh, data in your proposal, there is no need to discuss your analysis. But once you've collected your, your data and you're uh, finalizing your study to, to produce your report, then you will discuss your data analysis before you go to your next section of your paper or your next chapter, which is your uh, findings. Of course, I will discuss all of these components individually in subsequent videos. Um, so thank you for listening and have a great day. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.